It's been over five years and still a portion of the Henderson levee remains closed after partially collapsing. People still using that single lane road facing another obstacle waiting on the one traffic light to turn green. Our Abby Breidenbach is in Henderson this morning getting answers and it looks like help is on the way. If you're stopped at this red light behind me, the shortest you'll be there is three minutes, but some people say they've waited for an hour. People are frustrated. You can't can't hardly really blame them. A lot of times they're late for work at the red light. You could lose, you could lose an hour, if not more. The problem isn't just the stoplight. It's the nearly one mile long stretch of road behind it. This section of Highway 352, which runs between Henderson and Lake Foss Point, has been down to one lane for almost five years. It seems like everything else is more important than our, our one lane levee road, and it is very important. For Katrina Collette, the light is not just an issue for her, but people who come to her business too. It's hurting tourism big time. I mean big time. The road closed in 2016 after the levee collapsed. Since then, um, with you know lack of funding and things of that nature, um, it's been closed uh, ever since uh, until we could get the funding to do uh, the necessary repairs on that road. DOTD says money to fix the road is available. The agency also says people won't have to wait much longer to see that lane open back up. We anticipate the project letting out to construction in uh, November of this year. So the repairs are going to involve us extending the slope of that failed, uh, that levee failure and also making the repairs to that one lane that was impacted. In St. Martin Parish, Abby Breidenbach, KATC TV3.